In this proof of concept, we are going to create a salad dressing bottle, including content. Let's start in Adobe Illustrator by creating an outline of this bottle. Notice that I created three different parts, one for the liquid, one for the transparent plastic container, and one for the cap. The cap one we're going to dismiss, and we're going to add a custom cap from the shape store. Let's start by creating a collada file for the two different parts, the liquid and the plastic container. Let's isolate the liquid by going to the layer menu. Selecting the content and using the Studio Toolkit for Labels, Revolve, and save this object as a collada file. Let's call it Liquid. Let's repeat the same thing for the outside container, the plastic bottle. Make sure to use the proper axis and save this after adding our front label. I know that my label is going to be three inches by three inches, so I can specify this right here in the width and the height. I can position the label creating a printable area, resulting in a collada zipped file with the ZAE extension. For the cap, we are going to access the shape store, right click on the get info and export the cap as a collada file. Using the toolkit, I am now going to combine the cap with the body. So let's start by opening the bottle first. Followed by an import into and import the cap into my Studio Toolkit application. I can now use the transform tools to move the cap right on top of the original bottle. Using my shift key and zoom tools, I can now go ahead and scale the cap to the proper size. Once scaled to the proper size, I can verify using my shortcuts one, two, three, and so on on the keyboard. Once I'm happy with the positioning, I'm ready to save this now as a combo bottle plus cap. Next up, the liquid. For this, we're going to have to do some UV mapping. I'm going to use the free Blender software to open up the original liquid that I created in the studio toolkit for labels. Let's zoom on, zoom in on this volume. And using the UV editing tools, I can create a split screen. Let's identify the material. And I can see here the official name of that material is material-1. Feel free to change this to something more identifiable. Use A to select all. Zoom in on the left side of the screen where you can see the UV map. And we are now ready to unwrap using a spherical projection. A to select, G to grab and move, 
zoom in, A to select, and going out of edit mode into object mode, we are able to see what that looks like. But first we need an image. So let's go to the web and find an appropriate image. I can use this image to import and use for my UV mapping. Unwrap, followed by object mode and changing the view mode to rendered, I should be able to see my material on that bottle. But we haven't assigned it yet to the material. So let's go to the material, click on the base color, and use the image texture which we just loaded. Make sure your JPEG is selected. And here we can see what that texture now looks like wrapped around this model. So far, so good. Make sure your render engine is set to cycles and we are now ready to bake this texture into my model. Make sure the material is selected. Select bake type combined and hit the bake button. Separately, we also need to save this image, this warped image. You see the little asterisk identifying we haven't saved this yet. So let's call this pestle sauce texture map or texture image and save this in the same location. So now we are ready to bring this into my ESCO software. But before we do that, we are going to have to manipulate the collada file. We have to add specific XML constructs to indicate that this collada file has a printable area. This information can be found on our ESCO website. Go ahead and find the XML code, copy it, open up the collada file using your favorite text editor, in my case, Text Wrangler. Identify the material ID. Remember, this was the name we chose in Blender. Paste the appropriate XML code right before the extra tag. And change the front material by the name of the material specified in our collada file, in this case, material-1. Saving this file will now enable me to place this in a brand new Illustrator document. Using the structural design place structure, I can now place this liquid.dae file. Placing the texture image and scaling it appropriately. This was set to 1024 by 1024 in Blender. And the printable area was set to a different size. Uh, if you want, you can match those two values. Also, as far as the look and feel goes, you can add additional light sources to impact the look and feel of that texture mapped graphic. And after updating, we have our texture image wrapped. One last thing we need to do now is export this to a collada file and join this with the bottle and cap. So let's call this liquid ZAE so I can differentiate it from the original one. Go back to my Studio Toolkit application where my bottle and cap is still open. 
import the liquid, move the liquid into position using my shortcuts on my numeric keypad to verify the positioning and finally exporting this as bottle cap in liquid. We are now ready to place this as a structural design file inside a new Adobe Illustrator document using all printable parts, switching to visualizer mode and selecting the plastic and finally changing that transparency will reveal the material that we created. Adding your graphics to your label to finally obtain your final result. Hope that helped. More information on www.esco.com. Thanks for watching.